What is up guys, it's Soul Bastion. Welcome back. We are gonna be taking a look at a new game. And by the title, you're probably thinking, which mobile company is now deciding to rip off League of Legends? Well, let me stop you right there. This game originally released in China in November of 2015. It is called King of Glory. Well, King of Glory was developed by Tencent. Now, if you need a little background information on Tencent, Tencent owns stake in companies like Epic Games, which has Unreal, Gears of War, Infinity Blade, other titles like Activision, Blizzard, Robot Entertainment, Glue Mobile, Pocket Gems, and many, many more. But the main one they acquired to begin with back in February of 2011, which is Riot Games, the developer of League of Legends. Now you may know by the title that this is the legit company that owns the rights to produce and make anything League of Legends that they want to. Now that being said, since the game was released in November 2015 in China, the game has rose on the charts. The first month in November, it peaked at number 12 on the most installed chart and it peaked at number one on the number one grossing game in China. And since November, it has stayed number one, the top grossing game in China, and has crawled the list to number two in August of 2016 as the number two most downloaded game in China. Now, the numbers are not there from the past previous months. A lot of this information is really hard to dig up and find, but I have been able to find a lot of this through Nuzu.com. And guys, this is going to be incredible. The game that is in the English version is called Mobile Legends. Now, Mobile Legends is put out by a company called Moonton, and the only information I can find on it is none. I can't find any information about this company. Uh, my guess is it's the company that Tencent's pushing this under the Western market. I can't find any information saying that Tencent completely owns this, but if this company was pushing something in the Western market, I'm sure Tencent would shut it down if there were copyright issues there. So my guess is, yes, Tencent is behind this and this is completely legit. Now, you're probably wondering why we haven't seen this in the United States. Well, the game is out in English. It is out in some South American countries and in Europe, but it's only out on Android. So. That's probably why you've not seen it in the United States, Canada, and other places like that, because my guess, and that's all it is, is they're waiting for the game to be finished on iOS in development. Now, once the game's probably finished in iOS, that's probably when we will see it come to United States, Canada, and other outlying places like that. But until then, let's take a look at the game. All right, so a quick bit more information before we do get into the gameplay. I forgot to tell you, the game was rebranded in China in August of 2016 to League of Kings to, I guess, more resemble the original game, League of Legends. And let's take a look at the actual game itself. The matchup mode, you can do regular matches. You have ranked gameplay once you unlock five heroes. And there's a free-for-all mode supposedly coming soon. Heroes, currently there are 19 different heroes you can choose from and prep this is where all of your emblems and stuff are at emblems are kind of like i guess the runes and stuff from other games uh, you level them up and you decide which set you want to use you can only use one set per match abilities these are i guess your perks you only have one perk that you can take into the match with you and these are the perks themselves gear wise you can customize and build your own set uh, right now on this character I'm running a damage and durability set so you can change to jungling just depending on your play style whichever you want to play uh, we're going to use let's run a damage and jungle and we'll use Layla in the first matchup now you do get chest uh, this one's for medals for completing matches and you do get free chest every four hours and they do stack up every eight hours so you can open two at a time if you're not online so let's jump right into a game gonna go ahead and try to get a matchup with Layla now they do estimate the time to be less than 10 seconds and it was less than 10 seconds there was no cut there we're gonna select Layla and let's go with uh, yeah that'll help out the most equipment scheme like I said you can change all of this while you're at the selection screen and the battle spells I'm gonna use assault which increases my movement speed by 42% but then it reduces over set the next seven seconds 
let's lock that in now we are going to be connecting to a brazilian server which is going to have my ping probably somewhere in the 170s to somewhere in the 200s and this is a loading screen that tells you everybody's loading up and we'll be right back when we get into the gameplay all right here we go everybody is loaded up and i'm going to take 20 percent damage to monsters to begin with now this character uh she's ranged this is the very first character you will ever play and ever see in this game her name is layla she's ranged she's got like a sniper style uh, uh ultimate which is really fun to play and we're just gonna sit back and we're gonna work on this middle lane it looks like nobody else went mid lane with me uh deciding factor um, honestly i don't care if we win or lose this match i'm just kind of wanting to show you guys the map and pretty much everything in the game uh that's maya right there we're going up against she's another range hero and if you do look at the map the map does very much resemble league of legends now of course the game is from tencent which owns league of legends uh, let's see if we can't get an extra hit on her right there now we definitely want to get away from that because that's going to freeze us and we do have a regen spell and the assault spell that's going to let us run further away a little bit quicker and let's see if we can't do some damage we're going to get frozen right here and she's going to get a few shots in we're going to hit regen it's going to heal me up a little bit and we didn't catch her with that now it is saying to check my connection like i said if you look at the top right it's what somewhere around 220 something ms like i said i am connected to a brazilian server so that is to be expected the united states servers are currently not out now that is a character i have not seen yet uh they're diving under towers at level two and three that's not very smart and let's see if we can get rid of some of these guys get away from that so we don't get frozen and regardless if you get the kill shot or not you do get gold in this game so that's pretty unique as you can see the jungle these yellow dots are showing you where some enemies are at currently i don't want to try to kill any of that stuff because it's a little bit higher level and as you can see the little yellow thing that just notified us that a boss just spawned down here now if you go down here I'm trying to move across without getting caught by somebody else. We do have our ultimate now. This is one of the bosses that you can fight. As you can tell, there's a river that runs right through the middle of the map, just like in League of Legends. It's a turtle here that gives you pretty much nothing but gold. So on the opposite side, we're going to be seeing nothing but the, of course, oh boy, this is not looking too, too good. We got to get away. We didn't have a chance. That was 2v1 too early in the game. Like I was saying, up at the top, you see the little three foot thing this is a place where another uh guy will spawn that is going to be where they call it the lord but he literally legit looks just like lich the lich king and that guy he once you kill him he comes back to your base that's where he spawns at after about 10 or so seconds and that's when you start seeing him deciding in which lane he's going to walk down now it's not a specific lane that he's going to choose uh it's undecided that's my ultimate right there trying to get her caught and we're going to get froze by that probably no we didn't so we do have somebody actually pushing the lane with me now which is going to help out and we do need some life still life still is going to very much so help out this push and if she stays out there again and gets caught with that we got three in mid lane now and like i said this is a true 5v5 nothing really different gameplay is great i literally played this game for 10 hours straight on mob crush last week didn't have a single problem with the game crashing no graphical physical lag like that of course like i said the delay yeah there's going to be some delay there for me because of the ping but it works perfectly we sniped her with that one right there and let's go ahead and pick up some more physical attack and damage because I'm going to be looking for starting to farm uh, these minions and stuff that are in the jungle. Uh, this is going to boost my level. The level cap for this game is level 15. Now, you can ask me if it's like League. I don't know. I've never played League of Legends. Never. Not a single time. So I can't tell you if it's specifically like it. Now, you're going to see these like this. Uh, this guy on the map. You look at the map right there it's got the little blue thing on it this guy right here is going to give me a buff i do believe so let's go ahead and kill him 
and I go ahead and take him down he does have a good bit of hit points but almost positive yeah you see right there the purple thing above my buffs that I have there on the bottom not exactly sure what the buff does but we're gonna take it and let's get in here and see if we can get some more kills I'm gonna go ahead and snipe early on her because that comes back fairly quick and we did end up getting the kill nice so let's uh, pick up some more movement speed 50% more let's move around I see this other buff up here let's help our friends out and this game is all about teamwork if you haven't played a MOBA I'm sure the majority of you have played MOBAs because that's what's pretty much trending on the channel nowadays is the MOBAs that we've been playing let's go ahead and upgrade that guy right there and all right we're gonna transfer down to the bottom lane we still got one person in mid and he just used his ultimate to jump in on this chick which is Layla and you can control where the ultimate goes see I have it out currently so we're gonna hit her with it and she's gonna run she immediately turned around and ran with the ultimate hit I dodged hers but is that gonna give me a chance I'm gonna pop my regen uh oh uh oh and she did take the kill for me all right we're going to run back because we have really no okay there's the life steal vampire mylet nice we need to uh need to assist this person in mid because they're getting pushed on really hard uh this person is very much overextended and uh we miss with that ultimate there that is not good do we really want to chase her down um yes we will because we got some help here all right there is the uh lord guy that i was telling you about uh boy oh boy oh boy oh boy we're gonna have to definitely get away from those guys as we are out of hit points pretty much i'm gonna save that regen spell and go ahead and recall so we'll be right back all right everybody's healed up there's our base right there we have three towers right there you have two extended past that and then you have your three outermost towers which looks like all but actually all of ours are down the outermost towers from all of us are down same for them except for one on the top so we're gonna push this middle lane see if we can't get some damage done let's go ahead and move back out of the way I don't want to get caught in that frost spell and let's just do a little bit of range kiting which is really fun with Layla because she does have the life steal. we get away from that because we don't want to get frozen and all right here comes their support from the side he's looking to gank I could see him he's showing up on the map to begin with and we are pushing a little bit too hard we did get frozen right there so let's jump back out of the way and we're gonna get a lot of those in that ultimate right there we didn't get the kill though she just barely had any life left all right she used her ultimate on me and we're down to the point where i don't feel comfortable being out that far extended so we're gonna go back and heal up again all right so they're pushing really really hard on this middle lane uh the soccer dude here he is kicking balls and this chick's probably dead yep all right we got the kill there and let's see if we can't get him run down double kill from yao zu which that guy is really really fast really good jungler and it looks like we are pretty much maybe one level ahead of the majority of the guys on our team all right we're looking for a kill on this for the gold it's going to help boost these guys up turtle has been slain all right so we're going to use this ability and we're going to follow back into mid lane because i don't want to really leave anybody too much behind i don't really i'm not a tank and i really haven't seen too many of tanks on our team so we're pretty much all up for easy killings if we don't all right she's right there snipe got her too many people we're gonna have to get out we did not have a chance to run so we did get ganked now you're probably questioning soul bash you know if, if you want to play a game like league of legends why don't you just play league of legends well i don't have the time to sit there and wait for a 15 to 30 minute queue and then a hour long game these games average anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes long if that and here we go we're going for a lord kill and he's gonna drop pretty quick with three people on him usually after about level 11 or 12 you're able to solo him by yourself depending on the character you're using and the stats that you have 
Uh, let's pick up my maximum level ultimate. He's gonna pop back up there at the bottom of our base and I'm gonna keep an eye on that down there to see where he goes. Now, that was a bit of a wasted ultimate. Uh, we just missed her with that right there. Go ahead and regen up and I'm gonna hang back and kind of see where he goes because I wanna push on the same lane that he is in. And he's not popped up yet. Like he takes about 10 to 15 seconds to come up sometimes. We got one person on top lane that's pushing against us. And that tower is finally gone. We're on the last tower until we get to their base. Now, once we get to their base, it's, it's literally all there is to it. That's all you need to do is kill that base. There's no kill amount ever in this game. You can kill as many people as you want to. Just because you do kill people does not mean it's going to end the game. We're currently five and two. Uh, there are games that I have come back and won after being 20 kills down. Uh, actually, it was more than that. I think it was like we had like 20, maybe 20 kills and they had like 50 something. So it, there is a legitimate way being able to come back and win games. Now you got somebody pushing really hard, the Yao Zhao. He just got killed by our Yao Zhao. Which I'm not sure if they're going to rename these when they do bring them to the Western market. Like I said, this is an English version, but it's more built towards the South American and European market, I would say. Uh, let's go ahead and try to get a buff right here. We should be able to take this down pretty quick. Yeah, that's going to take things up a notch. And let's go ahead and pick up 45% uh, more penetration. And looks like they did take the tower down on that top lane. So we're going to go ahead and push up. Like I said, we're only 12 minutes into this game and we're not far from ending it. Now this guy here, Yao Zhao. Oh, we miss with it. Oh, we definitely miss with that. And this is pretty much where it gets a bit chaotic. It gets crazy. Everybody is up in here wanting to get kills. Everybody's trying to keep everybody off of everything. And I'm just going to stay in and push. I do have a little bit of health regen. We got the kill there. All right, there Layla is pushing as well. So we are getting hits on the tower currently. And I'm going to turn this ultimate around and aim it at her. Bam. And she took me out first. All right, here we go. We're back up. Everybody is in mid lane. And Aryao Zhao is just going insane. He is godlike, got a double kill. He just jumped in and took out that whole mid lane, which was only two of them. We got Clint somewhere, he just got one. And so we got three other guys down for 20 plus seconds. It's a good time to make a push on their base. So we're gonna go ahead and go in, jump for it. And there's the base, it's full health. I am at risk of being attacked, so I'm going to drop back and let those guys take the hits. And that is the game, guys. Wow. Very exciting, very fast-paced. Jumps, throws you straight into it, and we took the victory. Now, you can see weekly 3 out of 10. I played three matches this week. You can get battle points out of 100 matches. Battle grade, we got gold and experience. You do level up as well. Went 6-3 and three with 9 assists. Uh, we got out farmed by the Yao Zhao a little bit, but hey, it's an amazing game. This is literally League of Legends on your mobile device. Guys, if you have any questions about this game, feel free to leave them in the comments below. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. I am Solvash. You guys have a nice day.